Hi! Hi folks. About a year or so ago when I was in Tokyo, Shun and I were interviewed by a producer who was making a documentary. And this gentleman's name is Mickey, Mickey Dezaki. That's him. It was in reference to the comfort woman issue and the title of this documentary, which will come out, be released in Japan on the 20th of April, is the main battleground of the comfort woman issue, a rather contentious issue. And we were advised by this young man, who happens to be Japanese, born in the United States with a Japanese heritage, but he's fluent in the language, so he can move about Japan seamlessly because of his fluency in the language and his Japanese name. We were told that this documentary was putting together it was going to be right in the middle of the road. It would present our interpretation of what happened with the comfort woman issue, as well as the delusional side. He didn't say delusional, I made it that. As well as the comfort woman issue side coming from the Korean Peninsula. Both sides. And it would be done even handily. Now, who could disagree with that? We're willing to discuss this issue with anybody who's willing to listen to our presentation of facts and documentations. Well, the movie, we had a, two previews, I think, in Tokyo. And two people that we know of went there. And they were both upset with it because here's what was done. We were shown first. Kent, Shunsan, myself, as well as other Japanese, given our version of the comfort woman issue. After we were shown, then he showed the Koreans from the Korean Peninsula, giving an alternative to what we said. Everything that we said, they gave a counter to what we said. So we were not able to respond. So we spoke first, gave our points, then the Koreans counted our points without any counter to what they said. In other words, this was lopsided, it was one-sided, and we were deceived. At the Foreign Correspondence Club of Japan, this producer held a press conference, and he labeled us as right-wing revisionists. That's me, kids. I'm a right-wing revisionist. So is Kent and so is Shunsa and the other notable Japanese. And the Koreans that were interviewed, he described them as being comfort women supporters. Yeah, they support the comfort women. The way he interviewed us and what resulted in this documentary, which is now a fake documentary, was rather deceptive. In the link in this description to this video, I have a link to numerous comfort women videos I made, and you will see the counter side. Uh, and in them, there's also documentation to what we present. I would urge the good people in Japan, instead of spending money to see this fake documentary and get upset, take the money that you would spend on that ticket and donate it to the Yasukini Shrine. If you're not close enough to the Yasukini Shrine to make that donation, go to your nearest Buddhist temple, to your nearest Shinto Shrine, and drop the money off there. Better to give it to these religious institutions than to a fake documentary, which is, is Genesis, is based on deception. <laughs> We're very disappointed in that producer. He came across as a very nice guy. Wound up being a producer of a deceptive fake documentary. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Niangoku, Japan. See ya! <laughs>